How's it going guys? Electron Man, hope you're doing good today. Well, we're going to do a little bit of a different one today. Um, I'm going to do a repair on a uh, Nintendo 3DS. Um, actually, I would mentioned this a few videos back and actually got a few feedbacks that they'd like to see me do some of the repairs. I mean, I've been doing a lot of CB repairs and stuff, but I mean, how many times do you want to see me repair, a, you know, Cobra 25 or Cobra 29? Typically, I do my CB repairs on something I've never had before. I mean, it's kind of repeat and get a... Kind of boring seeing the same one, you know, same thing over and over. So, anyway, we're going to do a Nintendo 3DS repair today. Actually, I've been doing a lot of these. And the first thing you want to start with is uh, the right screwdrivers on this repair. Let me show you. On these screwdrivers, you want to make sure you get some uh, good fine tipped, nice hard and steel tip. Um, you want that, and, you know, obviously it's got to be small. And you want to make sure it fits in your screw holes right, because these screws really... And this one even comes with a little bitty... Uh, flat blade here that I use or an exacto knife or whatever because uh, when we're going to do this repair today what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, a 3ds XL and the 3d slider is broke off um, which I've seen several times but the 3d slider here has broke off um, hopefully the switch on side hasn't broke typically they're not it's just the, the little slider knob that slides up and down is broke and uh, especially if you do a reset on something you really need that slider that and you know you want to have your 3d so anyway we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it first thing you're going to want to do which i've already done on this one but um you have four screw holes here 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 and here that's all you're going to need to get that the back off of the top half of an x uh 3ds xl um, there's just those four screw holes there, but there's a little bitty um, rubber looking thing on there and I use this to pick it out um, Typically they get kind of torn up when you tell them out, but it's not anything I mean, you know if anything get a get a white marker white and white it out I mean I you could probably go out there and find the little press the pads, but it's not necessary I mean it has any it doesn't have any effect on a game It's just aesthetics to hide the screws, but to me the screws don't look bad anyway So anyway, you got to pick these four little things the little squares You'll see them. I wish I had pulled them out first, but you'll this they will be white too But you just got to dig them out and they're little rubber ones and by the way They got a full back make sure you get the full thing out because if you just get the rubber out and leave the full Then you won't see the Phillips head screw, but I promise you there's four Phillips head screws there so if that's the first thing you do is pull those four screws. Um, let me go ahead and switch this camera around here. The thing you're going to do is you're going to want to get... I've actually been using... Uh, this knife here is pretty good, but be very careful. I mean, you can use an exacto knife, a uh, guitar pick. Um, guitar pick's real good. If, if you're like me and experienced, this is good. But you want something with a nice, thin, rigid blade. And it's kind of scary. But, and what I typically do is I always start on the side without the 3D. And what you want to do is you want to get down here in the corner and you're going to want to kind of get it there's a little crack there you're going to get that in there and don't push too hard because there's components inside you don't want the knife to go down in you just want the edge of it and you're just going to get it here and you're just going to snap like that and you're just going to work your way around it, it can be kind of hard you got to work it's unsnapping it basically um you got to unsnap it all the way around This one I've actually had off once before, so it's a little easier to take off, but and it can be pretty rigid. And once you get all four of those off, then you're gonna what you're gonna end up with is it's not gonna want to come completely off. It's gonna want to lift up, and then you're gonna have to okay get that lifted up, and then it's gonna be stuck on the back. And I find with it closed is the best way, and then you're just gonna kind of have to pry on it. Once you get that back off, you're gonna look in here, and I, and I can already see this has got like a little piece of plastic left in here. there there's what's left of the slide switch which the slide switch actually looks like which you can purchase these I think I'll put you a link down but uh, they're pretty reasonable I've actually got some spares from a couple of donors so I've actually got a white one here it's not actually the right color but it doesn't matter the only part you see is the gray part anyway so uh, so this this is your new slider switch here and if you look at it you can see hopefully you can see that um, there's like a little notch there and that little notch what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to take that little notch and you're gonna have to line it up with that slider which it looks like this one the slider got pushed all the way up so I will take my little screwdriver here where's it at you take that little slider 3d slider and center it back in see it see that it's got like a little bitty tab sticking out there that's your 3d slider right there and then all you're gonna to want to do 
if you're going to take that notch that I showed you on the back of this new one you're going to want to line that up with that little notch there it should be just like that and right there yeah, see we know we're sliding now it'll slide in another and folks that's it I mean that literally is all you got to do to replace that slider the scariest part is getting the back off of it I've actually um I've got a different color back I think I'm going to put a blue back on here I need to and when you just snap it on I found that if you take it from the front you kind of set the front end first you kind of slide it forward it kind of locks in there so you kind of go that because it's kind of got like a hook that goes underneath it, so you want to kind of get under hooked underneath there so as you can see I've got all the front nice and flush and then I just kind of go ahead and snap the rest of it in and there you go she's all snapped in now put the screws back in it let's go and get one out here Don't go crazy on tightening. It doesn't need a whole lot of tightening. It is plastic, so you don't want to strip it out. And then you just put that screw in there. Like so, that's two in there. Nice and flush. And the other two here. Last one in here. You take your time and you're gentle. It's it's not a bad job. But just take your time. Don't force anything. Voila, check it out, 3D slider is fixed now, which we can go ahead and power it on, verify it, like I said, I just leave the little things off, you could probably hunt around and find a, find the little replacements, they look like this right here, it's like, it looks like a little gnat, but uh, I actually got a couple of them out good, but like I said, I don't see any reason putting them back in there. I guess if you wanted to, but oh yeah, 3D's working now. They'll be happy as heck. That's all there is to this guys. If you did, please uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and as always, have a great day. This is Electron Man.